So this is one of the strangest videos I have made on the channel. And then I'm gonna be really raw with you. I'm gonna to try to sell you on buying a trailer that I think has poor quality control, has a bunch of issues. And it's a trailer that I originally thought everyone should probably stay away from. Now, I really appreciate what Drew is doing today. This is so important for our community. We're gonna share real owner's experience about trailers instead of just sales pitches. So you can see whether this trailer is the best trailer for you or one that you should avoid at all costs. There's a group of people out there that has convinced me, even though there are some quality control issues, there are some just major downsides of this trailer, it may still be worth buying. And so today I have someone on here who has put over 25,000 miles on this trailer in less than a year and a half. And that's Brian from DIY Outdoor Life. You may know him as the Bushwhacker Teardrop Expert. I think he's gonna be the next Cosmo Weems. So I'm gonna throw it over to him here. He'll give you a basic overview of this trailer. We'll go back and forth about the good, the bad, and then why people are just jumping on this thing even when they know the ugly. Hey everyone. So before we get into some of the head scratching details about this Bushwhacker teardrop, let's do a quick overview, talk about build quality and standard features. Now everything you see with this trailer is standard. There's a couple different models available, but there is no customization from the factory with these trailers. Every Bushwhacker weighs 1300 pounds. It's made to the dimensions that fit inside a standard garage door opening. There's a queen size bed inside. This frame is made with an, a welded aluminum. So inside the cabin itself, there is no wood glues or screws that make up this structure. It is an insulated trailer and they skin it with painted aluminum. So these are high quality building products. The trailer has a powder coated steel trailer frame it has a Dexter torsion axle, 15 inch rims with 28 inch off-road tires. So that's gonna give the Bushwhacker 12 inches of ground clearance. They all have a roof rack on top. Um, this has a 300 pound capacity. You can carry cargo or use it to attach an awning. If you go with the free solo branding of this trailer, it comes with the awning and they use some different vinyl graphics on the outside. So back here at the galley, you have a two burner propane cooktop. You have a spray nozzle here. A lot of people go with this aftermarket spout, but this is connected to a 24 gallon freshwater tank for this trailer. Now they used to come with this Coleman power cooler. Almost no one liked these. So they're including a K2 roto molded cooler in its place now with all the new bushwhackers. You do have the AC and DC power here if you wanna swap this out on your own with a small size compressor fridge. I haven't said this in a while. If you guys are new to the channel, we are all about getting outdoors in small camper trailers, helping you have a more simple and gratifying camping experience. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you check our playlist, subscribe, and uh, come along for the journey. So coming inside the Bushwhacker, like I said, we have a queen size bed. Now it folds up into a couch. Because I went with the single entry door version, they give you this backrest here. They cut the air conditioner out the side to give you a little bit more space in here. Now, if you go with the two door version, they put base cabinets along your feet. This gives you a little less room, but a lot more storage. So there's some basic options here when you're choosing your bushwhacker. The last thing that I'll mention is that they all come with a thermostatically controlled propane furnace. This is an indirect furnace that gives you dry heat while you're boondocking. Now, if you do have access to shore power or a generator, they all come with a 5,000 BTU air conditioner. So these are certainly not features typically included on a trailer that's selling brand new between 10 and $11,000. So Brian, this sounds like a really great trailer. So what's the catch? Come on, come on, what's the catch? So if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. And with this trailer being 50% of the price of the competition, you know there's gotta be a catch. But with this trailer, it has to do with the quality of the fit and finish and the speed of production. When I got my trailer, there was sealant smeared all over the outside of it. 
It was like they didn't clean up after the job. When you look at the air conditioner, there's foam hanging down and spray insulation all over the place. This isn't the fit and finish we're used to in the teardrop industry. My trailer came with the stereo miswired to the point where it didn't work. So it makes you wonder whether there's any quality control or an inspection before these trailers leave the factory. Now, when I pulled that stereo out to fix it, the cavity was filled with sawdust and wire insulation. It looked like they knocked a dustpan off in the wall. So most of these issues, cleaning up and fixing some of the fit and finish, are minor things. They're aesthetic things or they're simple. But the rushing of this trailer did lead to some more serious issues with the first round of production on this trailer. There was a recall where the dealerships had to install bolts between the cabin and the frame because the factory used self-tapping screws. The same thing happened with the roof rack. There were some issues with the two-door models and how their air conditioners were cooling inside the units. Now, all of these issues have been addressed. These were early production issues, but they do indicate what happens in the camper industry when a new company starts pumping out these trailers as fast as they can. Here's what people are doing. They're buying these trailers and they're modifying them. And they're simple modifications that almost anybody can do with just some simple tools. They are coming out, these trailers, from the factory built on a solid foundation. Brian will tell you this, other owners will tell you this, the bones are strong. It's just really some oversight on the design, some oversight on the finish work. Nothing a little TLC cannot fix. Therefore, you're able to get this trailer and basically it's turnkey. You just wanna protect it a little more, put it in a garage, uh, redo the caulking on it, redo some of the finish work, um, redo you know some of the electrical. But it's coming with things you will never get at this price point on another trailer. For one thing, it's being built in the USA. It's coming with a Dometic heater that runs on gas. Therefore, it actually is boondock ready. It's not a trailer calling itself a boondock trailer that has an electric heater on it. You don't have to plug into shore power to stay warm in this. It has that huge 24 gallon water tank. I mean, that's pretty unheard of at this price point. It has so many quality components that I think many of us for the price can overlook the little things. And for someone like me with a family, I want to build a teardrop right now, but it's just a lot of time and effort and work. And I want to get into something that is mine. I want something that fits me. And I think this is kind of it. It's almost like an empty shell. You buy this teardrop and then you tinker on it. You take out things you don't like, put things in you do like. You rip out this, you put in that, and you can feel justified doing this when this teardrop is somewhere in the $10,000 to $13,000, $12,000 range. I think you could pump a ton of awesome off-road components into this, overland components, and you're still going to be nowhere near the price of a new trailer with these things added on. From a frugal mindset, from a DIYer, you know, it makes sense in both ways. It's affordable and it's fun. It gives you something to personalize. It gives you a little bit of work without taking up the entire garage and taking up your entire free time. I mean, what do you guys think? Is this something that may interest you or is this something you should walk away from? Let me know in the comments if you would tackle a project like this or if you think it's better to build your own or get something that truly, truly is turnkey ready, even the finish work. Yeah, Drew, so with the good, bad, and the ugly, I still love my Bushwhacker teardrop. I feel like I made the best decision for me. But when other folks ask about a recommendation, it's a little bit more complicated. I like to share the good and the bad about the trailer and be honest about my experience. One of the best resources for people is this Bushwhacker Owners Facebook group with thousands of members. You have people sharing how they customize and modify their trailers, as well as troubleshooting the common issues that all campers have. It's an amazing resource. It's there that I learned that some dealerships are charging $5,000 more than other dealerships for this trailer. So I made a little database to help people out there. 
If you're interested in this trailer, swing by my channel, leave a comment. I will share that with you. It might be worth taking a road trip to save several thousand dollars on this trailer. So I think you may find this interesting. Brian lives full time at a Zen Buddhist monastery. This is a guy who basically did a vow of poverty and somehow ended up with a teardrop trailer in the midst of all that. So check out his channel, really interesting guy, a lot on outdoor life and teardrops, but he also is an expert on off-grid solar. I think you'll get a lot from him. So we have a ton of these type of videos. If you're interested in trailers, check out this playlist. If you have been following us, thank you so much. We appreciate all the support. Um, all the feedback in the comment section. You guys have really made this channel what it is. Uh, I thank you so much for that. And uh, I just uh, hope that you guys all stay safe on the road and get out there and enjoy this big, beautiful world.